precision. How are you guys going today? Well, I hope. Hey gang, uh, a question that uh, we get asked a lot here is what is the best type of hard drive to install in my new computer? Or if I'm doing an upgrade, uh, am I better off to use an SSD or a normal hard drive? Okay, well, we're gonna answer that question today. There are some differences between SSDs. Now, SSD drives look a little bit like this. This is probably a fairly popular one. This is a 240 gigabyte Kingston. And SSD drives have no moving parts. Now, what does that mean? Well, Firstly, let's compare the sizes. This is a normal hard drive that goes in the computer, and that's your SSD. So that gives you a bit of an idea of the sizes. Now, these hard drives like this have been around for over 30 years, and they're still quite popular, and uh, come in quite large capacities nowadays. You can actually get these drives that'll store up to six terabytes. Uh, this particular one is a two terabyte drive, but they are still basically a mechanical drive. I'm going to explain to you what that means in a minute. These drives, however, <clears throat> have no mechanical or moving parts in them, so they are much, much quicker. And a lot of people now are putting these SSD drives uh, in their computers and putting the operating system on them, and it does make your machine lightning fast. Now, I'll just explain to you why. I'll just give you a quick look inside a normal hard drive. <clears throat> For those of you that have never seen inside one of these, that's pretty much what an old school normal hard drive looks like. They've got a platter that spins like that and they've got a reed head which is this gadget here. And uh, most drives nowadays, modern drives, have multiple platters in them. And uh, the reed head has to actually read the data off the drive. Okay, so it's a mechanical operation uh, or mechanical and electrical operation but it does take some time. It takes some time for that reed head to actually find the data that you're looking for on the drive. Uh, so these, by modern standards, I guess, are relatively slow. So a SSD drive, or a flash drive, is much, much quicker. Now there are some downsides of SSD drives, one of them being that they are still relatively expensive, and they also don't have the large storage capacity that a normal hard drive has. And uh, pretty much the biggest SSD drive that's out at the moment, or certainly uh, that's affordable anyway, uh, is only about 500 gig. The 240 gig drives uh, seem to be the most popular, and that's why most people have a combination of SSD drive and a normal hard drive in their computer. This particular machine is uh, uh, one of our gaming rigs that we built for a customer recently, and uh, he's brought it back in to have an update or an upgrade to an SSD drive, but he'll still be running the two terabyte hard drive, in there and uh, the SSD drive will fit down there. He'll just have his operating system on his SSD drive but all his games and his files, movies, music and all that sort of thing will be stored on his normal hard drive. And that's probably uh, an ideal combination. There are uh, some, um, some drives around at the moment that uh, have both uh, a normal type hard drive and an SSD drive inbuilt, uh, but they are once again relatively expensive. I think what's going to happen eventually is that uh, they will, you know, th these older style drives will probably phase out and everyone will start using SSD drives. The other downside though of an SSD drive is that they are quite susceptible to power events. So they're very susceptible to spikes, surges, brownouts, things like that. And it is actually quite easy for you to lose all your data on these uh, if they do suffer a power event. So I would recommend that if you're going to upgrade to an SSD drive in your computer, that you also run it uh, in conjunction with a UPS, which is an uninterruptible power supply. Now, a UPS will basically power your computer, take your computer completely off the grid altogether, so it will never ever talk to the main power grid again. And even if the power goes out, your computer won't know, it will keep on running. So uh, UPSs, I think these days are a fantastic investment, particularly nowadays that, uh, you know, that they've become quite cheap. Uh, a good quality UPS is uh, under $200 now, and they are a fantastic investment, particularly if you have a two or $3,000 computer. I think everyone should run UPSs nowadays. Unfortunately, a lot of people still don't, a lot of people still don't even know what they are. But for those of you watching this video, 
now you do. And like I was saying, uh, the hybrid drives that you uh, can buy these days have a combination of both SSD and a normal mechanical hard drive. Don't know, uh, they're certainly not all that popular at the moment. Don't know whether they're going to become more popular. They are quite expensive, so at this point in time, I don't know. You, you, you need to make up your own mind whether you want the speed or whether you want the reliability of the normal hard drives. Hmm. Hey, these are a pretty good machine too, eh? Check this out. Liquid cooling. Yeah, that's the way to go. <laughs> I'll talk about liquid cooling uh, in another video one day. So there you have it, guys and girls. I hope that that helps you out. Uh, I still think that the ideal combination is a uh, SSD drive in conjunction with a large capacity hard drive. Uh, but ideally, at the end of the day, that's entirely up to you. Some of you uh, are happy enough just to have 500 gig in total storage and just use an SSD drive. So there's pros and there's cons. Don't forget, gang, if you've got an idea for an upcoming video, something that you'd like me to talk about, drop it down here in the comment section below and we'll see what we can do. I'm Pete from Precision. See you next time.